I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm your DM. I have no experience DMing, but we're going to see what happens. I am I Me Stars in online anyway, at TikTok, Instagram, if you want to come and say hi. Um, players, Daniele. That's me. Sometimes. Uh, I'm Dan. Um, I go by the speed of candy on all of the various internet places, mostly TikTok these days. And I play Mask of Steel, the half-elf bardlock who is a disaster. He's just a disaster his whole life. No. Oh. <laughs> Nick. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Nick. I play the Forge Cleric, Edgar. Um, I don't have any social media. You can catch me on uh, D and Denial Discord. Pyrea. Hello, uh, I'm Pyrea. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram, and I am playing Alewin Alanthris. She is a chronology wizard, elf. <laughs> uh, Stella. Hi, y'all. My name is Stella. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet as Saint Stella. Um, I'm doing the very last episode of Arc One of my very first DM uh, campaign this Wednesday at seven o'clock uh, on Twitch backslash Saint Stella. So um, come see me try and wrap up a story that's not ready to be wrapped up yet. It's gonna be awesome. So but we just ran into one. one of my character's sisters in the like deep, deep dark secret uh, like group it's gonna be great it's gonna be chaos but it'll be fine anyways i'm excited uh, and i'm playing playing Phyllis arbor who's a tiefling druid everyone should go and check her her game out it's actually really really good um yeah so introductions are done i wrote a recap and i mean i wrote i wrote a recap that you'll see all right <laughs> i'll just I'll just get into it. So last time in episode one, meet cute, more like meet dispute. Last time in AA, we met the party and then the party met each other. <laughs> and oh boy, did that go well. Turns out a lay is a basket case in a pretty package. Um, oh, Whoa. and those men that are trying to kill the Damascus, <laughs> that seems like a you problem. Um, Speaking of Damascus, he's a little skeezy and uh, not nearly as suave as he thought he was, but never fear, Phalus is here. Uh, and they are always warm when they are walking. And finally, Edgar must be protected at all costs because he is the team dad. Oh, and we mustn't forget the appearance of Beloth, the goddess of light. Wow, wasn't that weird? Anyways, long story short, Damascus saved Bayless from being disintegrated. Phyllis has to roll for being, or has to roll brat checks now, and Elewin can't find her mentor, Inimus. And three of the four party members saved a flask of ambrosia for later. <laughs> Good times were had by all. And that was my... My recap. How did we feel about that? I love it. it. I liked it. Great. <laughs> I, I feel cool. like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rip on you guys a little bit here and there. Fine. That's so, uh, we come back to I believe Phalus and Alewin were booking it out of the tavern. Are you heading to the campgrounds? Uh, yes. Okay, so Phalus and Elewin head out of the tavern in the direction of the campgrounds and you move through all of the tents, the people, the whole bunch of just massive people gathered around. You're looking around the campgrounds, you know, you see tightly packed tents and various campers um, here to see the lights, the massive people, you hear a conversation, you hear tons of conversations going on, laughing, a mother yelling at her child not to run with a dagger, but you don't seem to see your tents. Like both of them, they're both gone? Yeah, you can't seem to see your tents. Uh, you make your way to that spot and what you do see is a red tiefling 
uh, red tiefling male sitting on your trunk, you know, with the six coats and some books, um, playing with what looks like a whole bunch of like dominoes, dice, runes, and bones, um, and just spreading them out and being like, that can't be true. And then redoing them and trying again. But your tents, your tents are gone. I think as we walk up, I mean, this is my people. So I think uh, Phyllis would say, um, okay, um, I know your tent is uh, supposed to be here, but uh, maybe you give me uh, 30 seconds to talk to this person and see sometimes uh, my people can be, uh, how you say, they play games a little bit. Uh, maybe if that's okay with you, uh, maybe I will make the first uh, conversation. Uh, yes, go ahead, I suppose. Um, and, and while she does this, um, Alewin is going to like look around the area, like kind of stay out roll of the me, way and kind of see. Roll me a wisdom check. D- DC like 18. Uh, wait, no, 19, 19 nice okay so yeah you're not you're not panicking yet okay? okay you're not panicking yet but it's there okay all right go ahead Sol. um so i think i go up and do okay can i ask you a question first dm do i know if it's common are tieflings common in the rest of the world or no or would i know that you, well you would know that uh they like okay so everybody seems to congregate where they feel comfortable, right? A lot of tieflings like Rhea because it's hot and they deal well with the heat and they get left alone in that area, but they do travel and live other places. I don't recognize this tiefling, right? You do not, no. Okay. So Uh, I walk up and I do the traditional Rhea, like, the predator predator shake. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, he, He does it right back to you without even like, without a second thought. Okay, and I say, uh, hello, um, welcome. Uh, it is nice to see you here. Um, I'm wondering, I, I, I am new here as I am sure you are, I don't know, but uh, my friend here had um, her tents uh, posted here and um, is there not like, is it like free for all? Excuse me, I don't know my friend if this is how it works. Maybe you tell me my friend. He looks at you and goes, you knew in a myth? Ah, and I kind of look at Alewin because I don't know if I caught the name. Like, I know she was coming back for her teacher, but I don't know if I caught the name. I don't think I do that. Like, yeah, she'll she'll nod. uh, Yes, um, uh, my friend and uh, Anima, Anima. Um, they, uh, they had their tents here. Uh, did you meet, uh, Anima here? He, he, he's going to need, I'm going to need you to roll a deception check here. Okay. <laughs> um, big jump. Okay. okay deception. Ooh, good. that's going to be pretty good. I think it's 17 on a die plus four. That's 21. Ooh, okay. I uh, let's see if he can freaking. Oh, you're not very, you're not very good at this. Let's see. Roll. Roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I guess he believes you. <laughs> um, he's just, uh, so he, he, he believes that you're her friend. So he goes, I am worried for her. She was supposed to meet me in the tavern earlier and she did not show. Who was Anima? Yeah, Inamis. Yes, Animas. Uh, that is, it's a nickname. You see, uh, it's it's hard, as you know, in Druidic to sometimes pronounce the uh, the syllables uh, in common. You know. Anyway, uh, okay, you are worried. Uh, maybe my friend here is worried too. But why did you he, take down the tents, or no, was there no tents when you got here? He kind of looks over at Alewin and then nods. He goes, oh, you are her kid. Yes, the one she was teaching. Uh, you would 
you did not see it, but when she got here, she sought me out and he opens his jacket and he's got a whole bunch of wands stacked inside. Like, you know, like, would you like a wand? <laughs> They're all tiny hot wands. <laughs> and so your, your, your tent she bought from me, both of them are magical constructs. Do we do we know that's the truth, or should we be rolling some like uh, would insight checks? Would you like checks? to roll an insight? Check? I would indeed. Yes. Sir. Yes. I just I figured she would have brought her own tent. Yeah. That's a nineteen for me. Oh, that is a uh, eight. <laughs> it, he's being one hundred percent honest. She got her tent from there. She knew he was going to be there, and they know each other, and he, she knows that he was going to do this. Okay, so I, uh, myself. I am missing uh, something in this story. Uh, so where, so did she take the the tiny hut and go elsewhere or what happened? I don't understand. So she, yes, she bought the tent from you and then he, put it here and then what? He points to the runes and the dice and the dominoes, that, that domino type things, right? He goes, I am trying to find her on here, but I cannot. And I'm, I'm sorry, you said she never made it to the tavern at all. No, I waited. She did not show up. I left. I looked around town. She did. She is not here. That is why I came here to see the tent, but the tent is gone and it should not be. It is only gone unless she dismissed it but she would not because you are here or unless the wand was broken but there there are no pieces I don't know why she would take a broken wand with her I I'm not sure either um uh, would you she could mind... not be on this plane of existence. That is possible too. I. It is. It would not be unusual, but um, in those sort of situations, she, she often has a backup plan. Um, would you mind uh standing off that chest, please? I I um, I would like to look inside of it. It it is mine after all. Oh, I am. I'm very sorry. He starts like scooping all his stuff into a bag. Um, stands up, moves aside, gives you like a little bow, like an overly flourish bow. Um, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna go. Ahead. It's it is quite all right. You did not know, but I I wonder if she left something in here. Um, and she's gonna like pop the the trunk open and like start flinging everything out of there is there anything out of the unusual in there like that she didn't put in there check? yeah while she looks in the tent can i look around for any suspicious uh folk you can yeah uh that is going also to investigation be i guess a it's 24 perception. 24 okay so you're digging through the tent or the tent the uh the chest and in one of your pockets of one of your very very old coats you find a snapped wand oh shit uh she's gonna pull the pieces out and it's it's is it familiar to her you you haven't seen it before oh okay oh interesting um She's gonna pull the pieces out. Um, is she are are all the pieces there? Um, yeah, from what she can tell. Okay, it's just um, snapped right in half. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> like a puzzle. Um, <laughs> she's gonna turn around to the tiefling and she's going to go. Um, do you do you recognize these? And she's gonna um, hold up the two pieces. You hear, man under his breath and he comes over and he takes the pieces from you and he looks these are not easy to break i enchant them that way and he's starting roll me insight on the tiefling 
In the meantime, I rolled a 16 on checking out the people around. It is a normal campground. I mean, you have like over in the corner, there looks like there's some dude checking you out. But like, yeah, like you walk by, he's like, hey, yeah, nice. I do this. <laughs> and he, and you, you do that to him. And he's just like, okay, it's no, not worth it. Cool. It's not, it's cool. It's cool. Um, oh, that was a 14. 14. He actually looks worried. Okay. He does. He's, he looks worried. Like when you walked up, he looked frustrated looking through the, those little um, kind of like fortune telling devices that he has. Mm-hmm. But now he looks worried. Can um, you, can you tell me what, what could break something like this? If it's hard, magic. then strong magic. Right. Okay. Um, do you, do you mind if I hold on to this? The broken ones. Do you want uh, the, yes. How about I give you a working one? Um, I, I would like on to the house to because to you are Inimus's kid. He just, te- he keeps referring to you as Inimus's kid. Just, just like, right. he talks, okay. she talks um, about you a lot. Right. This is, this is quite peculiar. Um, uh, yes, I, I can take the other one, but I would like to also hold on to this one. Just, just in case, um, you never, you never quite know. Um, you keep one piece, I keep the other. This may help me find her. Uh, Mona, I, I, I am sorry, I did not catch your name. Oh, uh, he just like, big like, flourishy bow. Vices. Vices? Vices. Oh, I was going to say, that's accurate. Vices. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, I have one more question, um, if uh, it's okay. Um, when, so, okay, I want to establish like a timeline. When, so you, um, Alewin, arrived with your companion, uh, is that correct? Because I am wondering when you bought, um, when she bought the, um, the wand to make the ut, and then who might have been there to see that, and then... You know, um, we arrived together. Um, she put it together sometime early, early evening last night. Um, it wasn't anything out of the unusual. There, there were plenty of people wandering around, but we didn't really blink an eye at it. Um, this morning, we we set off farewell she she said she was going to the tavern and and um that's that's sort of where I ran into all of you and um that's that that was our morning um one was one there... more one more time I'm just going to try one more time he, he closes your um your chest and he mm-hmm. throws out his uh dominoes and dice and all that again and he just looks at it and like this just this is not good and with that we're just gonna quickly step away and back to the tavern where we have Edgar and Damascus and a little tiny Talon who's just vomited all over (laughs) your shirt I think I'm going to have to get myself a new shirt sometime. You're lucky you're cute, little one, or this would be a problem. You're little. Uh. Oh, not again. I tried to like, uh. lift him up and put him on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. On the, on the table where it can be cleaned. And he just shakes his whole body down right down to the tail. Big breath in. <laughs> and then you notice he goes still like completely rigid almost like in point you know when dogs do that point formation right like there's something that way and he flies up 
bites your ear, oh. earlobe, and just starts trying to pull you in the direction okay. out of the tavern. Oh, you, you could ask. Uh, he just go. bites harder. I think the little fairy thing wants us to go with it. I think he that let, is how he he's asking. He lets go of you, flies over to to Edgar. Edgar gets a whole bunch of like wings in his face, and he's like trying to push you in the direction out of the tavern, like right away. Can I grab him? <laughs> you can. You can try. Give me. Uh, you, I'll say that. I'll say that's Dex. Oh, goody. <laughs> he's fast. Fourteen. All right, hang on. Yeah, you you just grab him. You like got him like a scruff. He doesn't have a scruff, but if you did, you understand. All right, calm down. I would assume he would like to uh, find Elowen. Um, I think they were heading towards the campground. If I'm mistaken, oh that God. seemed to be what she was heading off to. And he'll look at Talon, and is is that who you are looking for? Do, okay. Do you want we'll us to come? Her. Do you want us to come with you, little one? This the most exasperated, just like <laughs> sigh growl you have ever heard. Just. <sighs> Well, listen, As he flies over, speak dragon. beats your, like, bites. Oh, wait. I'm still holding him. Damn it. Do you, um, do any of you speak Sylvan? Um, nope. No? You hear a whole bunch of, like, I mean, you don't know what he's saying, but it's a whole bunch of Sylvan being flung at you. Damascus. Let's, okay. uh, Yes. Let's go, I think, to the campground. Well, we can follow the dragon. He seems to want to lead us somewhere, and I don't fancy my ears being bitten off again. I say we go where he wants us to. I look at Talon. No biting. We'll find He looks her. at you. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and like- just kind of, like, settles down in your arms. And then points. Right. He, he, he's got his own little horse. Edgar uh, <laughs> gets up. Shall we? Let's go. All right. So I'm you guys guy. make your way to the campground being led by Talon. Uh, every now and then he <laughs> a little bit and then kind of like leans towards Damascus as if he's ready to like but not like I don't know. That's he's he's decided that that's where he's going to be sick. <sighs> but since he's in Edgar's arms, he's trying really hard to hold it in. Um, yeah, you get there and you see a very worried and panicked Alewin. Um, Fel- uh, Felis kind of, I guess, punching over a red tiefling who's looking at a whole bunch of fortune telling tools and not not happy very uh, very unhappy. as soon as as soon as uh they come into view i'll let talon go and talon immediately flies over to alaywin and no, just hides in her hair making a huge knot okay you is this your uh, fancy, beautiful uh, god doing this? Now her tent is gone and her friend is missing. Why? How in the world would you expect me to know? I know, I know just about as much as you do. The only thing I know beyond you guys is that last night I met this girl. And this morning she tells me she's a god. Yes, we got, we got that much. We got it that. very good. Well, we were there, I remember? I remember. But I don't know what it is she wants from us, what she's doing, or why she would be messing with us. I was in the tavern with Edgar. The little fairy dragon cute thing decided to throw up on my shirt 
and then drag us over here. You see a whole bunch of wiped away, just stains of vomit on his shoulder. (laughs) And I'm definitely going to need a new shirt. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where your mint is or how two massive tents just disappeared. This is magic well beyond my, my knowledge. I was hoping some one of you knows y'all y'all are much more magically inclined than I am. I know a handful of minor spells at best. Um not not to step in the middle of this, um, but pointing fingers, I think, is not uh going to help the situation. I didn't I don't think uh she was threatening any of us. Um, she seemed more of wanting to help than anything else. She has slightly a weird way of uh, coming across to that, but nevertheless, she didn't threaten us in any way. Alewin, roll me a wisdom check. That is... Oh, that's an emblem. I don't know what that is. Is that a nat 20? Hold on. Sorry, it's an emblem, but there's no 20. Hold on. The I emblem's usually check. the 20. Okay, yeah. I just, I was like, wait, uh, uh, natural 20. Okay, cool. So oh, you, <laughs> you feel that for a moment you're like, oh no, something bad is going to happen. And then you feel very warm in your heart. And that feeling spreads out across your body into your fingertips and you just purged yourself of your anxiety attack. A little boon Bella seems to have given you when she touched you the other game. Which you should find in your cantrips, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, okay. She uh, she's gonna stand stand upright. Much she looks much calmer. Um, she's gonna press her hand against Talon, who's hanging out on her head, and she's gonna go. All right, bud. Um, have you have you seen anything? Because if if not, um, we're kind of going in blind. Talon says to you, a moment, and I will make an, I'll do an aerial. And he right. takes off into the air. And, um, and as he's doing, go around. Um, as he's doing that, uh, Alewin's going to look back over at, you said his name was Bysis, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's going to go, what, what exactly do your, um, your talismans and your tomes and your runes. What are what are they telling you? Other than, other than this is horrible. Everything's bad and nothing is right. Because I think we kind of have that part. She uh, she is not here. Right. She is not here. Okay. Either on this plane or. I hate to say it, alive. She is not here. And he he's he kind of gets up, leaves the stuff on the on the chest, gets up and walks the circle of where your tents were. Like you, you see him like take a big breathe in, kind of like scrunch his nose a bit. It There was no divine magic here. But there was something. Not not smell so good. All right. Um, And she's going to look at Damascus and she's going to go. If if this wasn't Beloth and she wants your help. Can you call her? How how does that work? I can certainly try. I just reached out for her earlier and she showed up. I could try again. See if I can figure out who is it we're looking for exactly. Sorry, I just got here. I don't um, know what's going on. All I know is your tents my, have disappeared. 
my mentor. Um, we arrived last evening um, and she was supposed to be at the tavern. Uh, and as you can see, she was not. Um, and she, she's, she's too skilled to be knocked off by just some, somebody walking through the festival, something, something must be at hand. I don't, I'm not sure, but. Uh, my friends, I know you don't uh, know me, but may I make a request that uh, we do not call in a God for a small, this is not a small favor. I don't mean to say that, but the more you ask a God for something, the more you owe them. And this, in my experience, is a, uh, I ask, give us the evening. We can ask around. We can, there are, this place is full of people. Somebody must have seen somebody. We don't need a God to find a missing teacher like Allah. Okay, give me one minute. And I climb up a tree and I use thaumaturgy. <laughs> And I again <laughs> do my voice and I say, Hello, mes amis at the, that, uh, welcome to the lights. My name is uh, Mistress Starfarer. I am excited for you to be here. The first game we play just before the lights arise is what do you see here? The first person to tell me who came here and took away the two big purple tents win. 10 gold pieces. Welcome to the lights. And I scramble back down the tree. When oh she finishes, God. when she says welcome to the lights, I'd like to use minor illusions to make like a Yeah. Just to draw attention to the to where we are. <laughs> uh you hear uh like a, a snort coming from Vices um as he takes all his little little items back in his pouch. He goes, I am going to go and talk to some people. Do not leave this area. Um, okay? E excuse me. Yes. Uh, you wouldn't... You're... I'm sorry. Uh, are you a fortune teller? I can tell the fortune of people, yes. Okay. Um, can... Can I borrow you for 11 minutes, give or take? That is a very strange request, my friend. Yes, it's, you may. I, I need uh, help. Well, I'm sorry. First, may I borrow uh, your fortune telling tools, uh, cards, uh, the, the stuff. Uh, May I ask uh, why? These are family heirlooms. Um, you, uh, I, I can ask a god whether or not, uh, fuck, I knew I shouldn't have given you that. God damn it. <laughs> uh, her teacher, whether or not she's in a safe or a dangerous situation. Um, and I was just wondering because it, it, it's, it's new to me and, to uh, ask for your imp interpretations of, I think they were what cards. He has, um, a bunch of, they look like dice runes, rune, like flat stones with runes on them, some bones in there and like domino pieces, but they've been carved with things. See, I, I don't know whether or not these uh, certain things mean, I mean, different things. Like uh, the domino piece, I'm not entirely sure what, what that would be technically considered. But uh, with your help, uh, maybe we could come to a conclusion uh, to maybe figure out whether or not... Uh, she she is at least all right. He he nods and uh, kind of pats the 
the chest again. He keeps picking his goddamn stuff up and having to throw it back down on there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. He, uh, yeah. he kneels down beside it. I'll kneel next to him. Uh, it will, like I said, take a, uh, take a little bit, and I'll begin to uh, ritually cast uh, Augury. Okay. That's and right. he'll throw out his, his dice and stuff and start reading and wait. You can, um, does this, now Augury, is that a roll of any sort? Uh, no, it says by casting gem laden sticks, rolling dragon bones, laying out ornaments, and all cards are employing some other divine tooling. Uh, you receive an omen from an other otherworldly entity about the results of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. Okay, so um, what a- is yeah. the course of action that you plan to take in the next 30 minutes? Whether or not we'll find her. He looks at it yeah, and kinda... after about 11 minutes he goes she is not here. You this here. Okay. And he points down here. He go, and he goes and points to these a bit of runes. Goes this here means that she is not here. This here means that you will find her but not soon, if that makes sense. He looks very confused by this. Oh, well, that's more than what we had. In the 10 minutes that they were doing that, do I see any of the folks in the campground like coming up to like, oh, I saw this or I saw that? Okay, so you do. <laughs> the first one's like the little boy that was running with a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, knife. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he goes, there were no tents here. I don't know what you're talking about. Do I get some money? <laughs> like, uh, my friend, you must listen to the rules of the contest. Only if you see the person who disappeared the tents do you win the gold. But for you, Mon ami, my beautiful friend, I will give you. And I drew it craft like a beautiful, like, lily. That's like purple or something. And something that's not from around this area. So it looks super cool. And I hand it to the child. Wow! He's good. He's super excited. And now he's running with a giant flower and a knife back to his mom. Right. Who's just um, like, how many times <laughs> How many times have I told you not to run with a dagger? What is wrong with you? Where did you get that? Can, can I stop the kid as he's running away with this dagger? <laughs> okay. And okay, just sure. be like, that's a wonderful looking dagger you've got. Where'd you find it? I took it from my mom. Oh. We should give mom! it back. Stranger danger! <laughs> Stranger danger! This is not going to help your cause of being creepy, dude. <laughs> Stamps on uh, your toe. Let him go. And he runs off. I'm so sorry. You really should um, work on your approach to people. You're not very good at it. Normally, I'm much better. Just... It's been a day. Right. Okay. Um, has Talon come back yet? <laughs> yeah. So he's just making his way back and and uh, message you in your head that she he can't find her. But we know um, just from us as magical people that somebody would have to physically break the wand to to break this like magic so somebody they may have been invisible and i get all that but somebody physically must have done that in some way do we know that you i mean i guess there there are spells and stuff that could do that okay so it's not necessarily that somebody was within like essentially melee it could have been from afar uh would you like to investigate the ground and stuff yeah, I I don't know. I'd like to do that, but could I roll maybe like an arcana or something on the wand to see if it appears to have been physically broken or magically broken? You can, yes. And I'm just going to read something to make sure. Okay. That I Is that an arcana? Right. Is that the right check? 
Uh, yeah, no, th- totally. Do the yeah, Arcana. Okay. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, uh, Feles, uh, maybe we uh, investigate the wand a little bit. Uh, maybe we can tell if it has been physically broken or magically broken. Would you like to help me on this? Ah, yeah, uh, okay. that's that's a great idea. Um, Do you want to roll as well? Mine's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got a 15. Yeah. But... You, you can, you, both of you can roll or you can roll, one of you can roll with advantage. Uh. Well, I rolled and I got a 22. So <laughs> I figured you had a way better arcana than I. Great. One second, one second, one second. I just want to make okay. sure. Uh-uh. Also, sorry, guys. I'm sure we'll all be friends soon. <laughs> all right. So you got a 22. Um, this was done with pure strength. A little, there's like a little magical, there, there's like a little magical, um, sort of almost nullification to it, mm-hmm. but it was just, it was snapped in half. Okay. Yeah. And, and like I said before, Bysis looks really shocked by that. He makes them fairly strong. Great. You could try. You tr- <laughs> you you could try breaking your your one your new wand. See how easy it is. Maybe uh, save it. My whole whopping eleven strength. <laughs> <laughs> Not twenty. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> but uh, I think that tells us uh, a lot in some way because that means somebody was physically here. You know, it was not. I agree. I think that makes it easier to maybe find the, the person. Maybe it is possible that they were uh, invisible or something, but uh, they were here. They were physically here and broke the, the one. So, and now if, if you don't mind, and I'll instruct the group and say, uh, maybe, I don't know, look, uh, I don't know again, but maybe, this is a problem. I think, can we agree that this is something we care about as a new group? Um, somebody you hear, is missing. You we need to find. Excuse me. And he walks up to you. You just put out a call. Oh, yeah. see if anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I don't know if this, he's really nervous. He's like, kind of like, you know playing with his hands and stuff i i don't know if this counts but the area got really still and dark i thought maybe i was just seeing things and then the tent was gone it was really fast like blink But that's um, not the that's not the same like how everybody froze. Is it is it different magic? Who can say? You don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Because okay. that well, sounds different. I know. Is this, is this like know. a a young <laughs> is this like a young person or like how yeah, do he's I he's like in his this? teens? Okay. Young 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 human boy in his teens, you know, freckles, a little bit of pimples, short hair. Okay. I oh, do the how? Attitude of the security at a bar on somebody's 19th birthday and say, oh, my goodness. Thank you, mon ami. You have saved the day today. I would give you uh, the five gold that I promised. He looks at you. I'm pretty sure it was 10. But also, I thought I'd try. (laughs) I didn't do it. You are right. Monami, I was checking your... You are, I both didn't smart. come to tell you that because of money. I just thought... It, you look... She, he looks at a, a lay win and like starts going a little bit red. You, you looked upset. I appreciate your, your assistance. Um, do you happen to know how long ago that was? Maybe like like an hour 
Right. It got stuck. It seemed like things around it got stuck. And then it was gone. I just thought, you know, Portal. He's, um, he's not looking. He's not looking at you. Like, uh, she'll pull out the other five gold and she'll go over to him and like actually directly hand it to him. Do five each. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll go, uh, you don't, you don't know how much that actually helped. So I really appreciate you just being good and helpful. Thank you. He, he, he like wants to ask you something. He, you, you can tell he's like, maybe uh, we could like, Thank you. Don't push and then he it, just walks. My brother. He walks. Yeah, no, he walks. He just turns. He he walks away. He, he bright red, like just gave that teenager a boost for the rest of his life. It's yeah, great. he was like, yeah. He's like uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna stop. No, that's cool. As he leaves, the sky begins to glow. Beautiful pinks and purples start to fill the sky and this is the this is what you're here for um you can hear a low rumble in the distance bellos lights start to shine brighter beautiful pinks blues golds begin to fill the sky in sparkling wisps you and everyone in the campground still and look at the sky. This is, after all, what you came here for. The ethereal lights begin to grow stronger, become more vibrant. There's another rumble. This one closer to you. Thunder, maybe? But there aren't any storm clouds in the sky. It's clear. The colors in the sky melding together, dancing with one another when suddenly... They stop. Everything freezes in place. And everything begins to feel wrong. A wave of concussive force of force of blast, a concussive force blast blasts through the crowd. Oh my God, that was hard. Um, And, but you can't, feel where it comes from everyone kind of just goes back and like some people stumble fall and you look around no one knows where it came from your stomach feels sick you feel almost fake you like you're disassociating up feels down and down feels up the sound of parchment ripping and flesh tearing and glass breaking rings through your ears. Your teeth chatter and the very earth beneath you jerks in anger. And then it all stops and a deafening silence fills your ears. There's no noise, none at all. You can't even hear your own heartbeat. And then you hear, run, hide, and you see just over the, over the hill, two Eladrin elves, two figures sprinting toward the, towards the campground at just top speed. Um, two Eladrin elves with long pointy ears and dark hair are running towards you. One is male, one is female, both extremely pale, almost kind of sickly looking. Um, and a fog cloud is rolling in behind them. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to kind of elbow Edgar and be like, I think those two need our help. And I mean, I got a fancy new sword. The pair make it within 60 feet of the campground before that ripping sound that pulse wave that happens all over again and everything flips upside down one more time. You notice that the male elf loses his footing and veers off running just straight and face first into a tree, knocks himself just unconscious. Well, that's not good. The female elf almost Run. trips over herself as she skids and goes backwards to try and pick up her fallen com- comrade. 
the fog cloud begins to roll over them. And in that fog cloud, you can see two robed figures made of tattered shadows and swirling darkness staggering towards you and the crowd and the people that you're with. Where their faces should be is nothing but a white oval disc. Nothing there. The crowd begins to panic. Everyone roll for initiative. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just... Oof. Y'all, I'm so scared. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 13? 23. All right, hang on. Roll the 19. We're about to break everything. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. So Damascus is 23. Okay. Um, Edgar. Uh, 19. 19. Jeez, guys. Nice. Cool. That. Oh, that's okay. Uh, okay. That's them. That's them. Phelous. I think I'm backing it up. I got a nine. Nine. Okay. A lay win. Uh, 13. How close is everyone? Okay. Oh, yeah. How, where did they end up? So they made it about 45 feet away from the campground. You guys are probably one of the closest there. Everybody else is kind of panicking and ready to like take off. Um. Is the fog coming any closer? Oh, yeah, it's rolling over them and it's starting to roll towards you guys. Um, let's see here. We start with Damascus. All right. Um, you said 45 feet away. Cool. And it looks like this cloud of these figures inside it are going towards this, this elf and her companion. Mm hmm. Damn. All right, I'm going to use a full movement and my action to run and just place myself between those two and the figures that are approaching them. Okay. And just as I do, I'm going to be like, I really hope you guys are going to back me up on this because otherwise I might die. And Edgar, it's time to test out your shield. And I'm just going to run up and I'm going to put the shield that Edgar got in front of me and be like, I really hope this works and pull out the sword that I have. And I don't really have anything I can do with a bonus section. Actually, yes, I do. Um, before I do this, can I give Edgar Bardic inspiration? You can. Okay. Well, as I say this, I'm going to shout out to Edgar. Edgar, I hope you back me up. Lewin, Feles. May not always agree, but if we don't work together, we might die. Talon and... flies over and stands beside you. <laughs> Just on the ground. He's not, he's, he's standing there like he's tough and big, like. Argh. Beside Damascus? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look down at him and be like, looks like it's you and me, buddy. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's, that's my turn. Awesome. Okay. Um. Next is, okay, hang on. How am I doing this? Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. Um, the fog cloud rolls in over you and the elves. I am going to need a wisdom saving throw from all of you guys, so oh, let's <laughs> not. It hasn't gotten to you guys yet. You, the, you two haven't moved yet. Just yeah. me and the elves. Or you three, just hey. you and the elves, because they're about forty-five feet away from you. So, what? Uh, uh, nat, nat twenty. I really wish I had. Yeah, I really wish you would say that because you didn't need to do it yet. <laughs> oh, just Damascus in the. Yeah, just elves. Damascus. Oh. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, thank God. And I'm gonna look okay. down at the girl and be like, uh, "Are you all right, Miss?" She passed as well, so she's like, no, I'm not all right. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, do you know them? 
did the did you point to the figures? The figures, yeah. I don't know them. I don't All know right. them. Well, hopefully they're not trying to kill us. They're trying to kill us. <laughs> I, I, that's what I thought. Um, and the fog that you are in now is going to make two attacks. Wait, the fog is it? Okay. <laughs> it. Let's see if it hits you. Does a 14 hit Damascus? Does not. Okay, cool. Let's see if he hits FaZa. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, he definitely hits FaZa. Okay, it, cool. I guess it's fog. It can get to him even though it can get to her even though I'm standing in the way. Yeah, it can go through people's spaces and completely envelop you. Fair enough. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's going to take 12 damage. Awesome. Let's. How do I do this? How do I close this? There we go. I need to give damage, apply. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, that's the fog's turn. God damn. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Edgar. Faylis, Elowen, I. I don't know about this, but if uh, it becomes too dangerous, I suggest running away from the fog. I'm going to go grab the mask. And uh, he'll take out his shield and warhammer and run out uh, towards Damascus, running into the fog. Oh, you're such a bean. <laughs> um. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, and how much is the bardic inspiration before I roll uh, down? It is a, a hang on. I think it's a. I think it's a d6. Yeah. You also have yeah, it's a guidance. D6. Someone has someone redeemed guidance in the chat. That was Fayless. me. Fayless yeah. has guidance. Uh, all right. So wisdom save. Ah, oh, good. Uh, twenty two. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Cool. Nice. Do I find Damascus? <laughs> I mean, you may. It's about. He was about forty-five feet. Uh, no, you don't even get there. You're about halfway. You only have twenty-five feet of movement. Do you? Are you oh, using yeah. both here? Yeah. Are you using your dash? God damn it, Damascus! <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you use your dash, you'll get to him. I know, but I was going to do something else for him. Ah, uh, shit. Um, I will hold my action uh, for Damascus. Okay. And Edgar will yell out, Damascus, get out of the fog. <laughs> Come towards me. Oh, shit. And then, as soon as we can get these two to safety. I'm so proud. Look at that baby growing up. Is that your turn? I yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be bad. Okay, it is Faze's turn. Okay. And I'm oh. I'm pretty sure that I'm I I was holding a are, spell. Are you going? Okay. Do you want to? What what action are you holding right now? It, it to cast a spell for Damascus. Okay, but there has to be a like a trigger, right? So. I need to be able to touch him, is what it is. Okay, so then you're going to hold it, or do you want to move towards him? I just move 25 feet, and then I, and I need an action to. Okay, so you're going to hold your action. Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Uh, you are with the female elf, who is not helpless. Let's see if she can do something. I mean, I say that. Um, Come on. She, oh, hang on. Fuck. Okay. She starts, like, trying to, like, get magic going. You can see little sparks. And, and then just, she's way too panicked. And they fizzle out. That. 
that's that's pretty much her turn. And she cannot do anything. Grab your friend and get get out of the mist, or it's going to kill us both. <laughs> she does. She does try to grab him, um, and she's like, "Yeah, this is working well." And she's trying to drag her friend, who is bigger and heavier, and and just not. She can't even like get his complete dead weight. Like, have you ever? It's just not working. She she can't <laughs> seem to do it. She's dragged him maybe about three inches. Um. Next is going to be a lay win. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um. She is going to pull out her um her spell book and she's going to cast advanced image. Um, do you want me to read that? Uh, I believe advanced image is the plus two to someone's armor and minus four to mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. monster uh, on who, who are you casting it on? Correct. Um, well, it's, it's going to be plus two to me, obviously. Um, and then is, well, I should have asked this. Are, are we 60 feet to the, can we see the spooky figures or is yeah, the fog you can, closer? you can just see them poking out of the fog. Do they, are they within 60 feet? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it'll be whichever, I guess, whichever one's on the left. You said there were two of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so whichever one is kind of on the left or in front, depending on how they're walking. You're casting advance or delay image on that. Yes. Think, uh, well, it's it's advanced image on me. I think it's one or the it's other. Only, it's only one or yeah. the other. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder why you asked both. And I was like, uh, wait. Okay, yeah. No, so you can, you can do me. either. But it's okay, only yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't want that. I, I just want advanced image on me. I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I was like, I thought I had this. Um, yeah, no, it's just going to be advanced image on me. And that lasts for a whole minute. And then um, it's plus two for my armor class as well. Yes. And then that's that's going to be my turn. Okay. Okay. Um, Bysis's turn. He's get, He's tending to the crowd and getting everyone out of here um like picking up children taking them off just everybody out and then we come to those corporeal black shadows and god damn it you're the only one there let's assume in advance that i'm probably gonna cast shield (laughs) (laughs) All right, it's gonna make two um, two slashing attacks at you. Its shadows just come out in like blades. Um, let's see. Oh, that does not hit. That's a twelve. Does not hit. Okay, awesome. That's good. Batted and, away with Edgar's shield. And a seven. This is good stuff. And then parry it with the blade. And and you see like. You don't know her name yet. Faza is the girl. She's just like, she's a little impressed. Like, oh my God, maybe I won't die. (laughs) Um, With a little luck, none of us will. However, oh God, damn it. Why are you the only one there? (laughs) Yeah, so, uh, uh, shadow number, number two is going to do the, uh, it's going to try something else. Okay. Oh, I'm really fucking sorry. Bring it on, come on. Purpose. I need an intelligence saving throw. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. It's your best check. Don't worry about it. That's a 18. Fuck yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Come on, DMB meter. Let's go. Get him. No, this was one of those special talents where Good. I was like, oh, shit. Let's go. Um, okay, on, so on. on the save, hang on. Success, the target takes half the damage. Fuck. Okay, so you're still taking damage, but uh, you get, it's only six. Six damage. Uh, and I had 10 temporary hit points from... You did. 
Yeah, nice. Okay. I and forgot I about that. And inspiration. Yeah. I was holding on to that inspiration in case I failed that intelligence check. <laughs> nice. All right. Phyllis. Okay. Do I get the sense that this cl- this fog cloud can be attacked in any way? It can. Yes. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run up about 30 feet, like half the distance. And then I'm going to like put my hands up, like almost like down and then up. And it's going to look like the, you know, like when you sit around a bonfire and the like sparks come up in the moonlight, that happens around the two figures and the fog. And I'm going to go ahead and cast fairy fire. So going forward, everybody has advantage on all attacks on all three of them. Let's, let's Love hang, it. hang on. Fairy fire. Teamwork. Is yeah. that actual fire? No. no, it's just like an effect. It's just like a magical effect it's that gives advantage on things. Glitter it's for the basically. aesthetics. Okay, cool. Objects cool, cool. and affected creatures uh, shed dim light in about ten foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage. Um, so, so the, the cloud is now glowing. Yeah. So everything <laughs> kind of has this, like the sparks from a bonfire around it, just like visually. Like, like, oh, that's that amazing. Really cool. Just imagine yeah. being inside that and seeing that. You the guys hear? You out. guys hear like? Yeah, the panic smack <laughs> across someone's face. Like the the female elf was just like, "Wake up, right now!" <laughs> <laughs> and does thirty feet? Um, like how does that make do I make it then to one of the elves or are they further in they're about 45 okay uh then I just kind of like I run 30 feet feet but while I'm running I run I yell to the rest of the campsite like get out of here go um in the loudest most like common accent I can do yeah, they the, the the crowd is like trampling people to get the right. fuck out right now, and um, that's uh, and we're third level, so I have no bonus actions. Okay, um, that, that was awesome. Uh, Question: Yes, that twenty foot cube that Fairy Fire was cast in would that include Damascus? Because if it is, I have to make the deck save too to see if it hits me. Oh, each yes. object. You're right. Can yeah. I aim it away? You can I imagine the, what I can. The cl- I can like. It's a huge fog cloud. You can aim it up. Yeah, it's okay. twenty foot cube. So like, I feel like I could aim it away, like it's towards just above your head. Don't jump. But I also want to get it to the two figures. Can I? If I run thirty um, feet. There is a dexterity save that you have to do to see if it hits. So I might be able to still pass. I'm just, I want to okay, be honest. Do you want to do the dex save? Because that is going to Oh, hit. shoot. You're right. Sorry. The two dudes and the cloud needs to do a dexterity save. I'm so sorry. That needs to, the, the cloud, the cloud fails. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> that is dexterous. Okay. Do you want to try for all of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's see if this cloud fails. What's the DC? Thirteen. Okay, so the cloud passes. Um, it just poops <laughs> out of the way. Damn it. Okay. Um, oh wait, is- wait, wait. Let me. Oh no, I can't no, do I'm guidance fine. on that. Never mind. Nope. Okay. okay. What about the other two? Uh, let's see. Hang on. I gotta see if uh, Fela, uh Sorry, not Fela, Faza might fail this. Uh, yep, she fails. So does Thrivin because he's unconscious. Let's see. Uh, can I aim it away from them? Like it's only twenty feet. They're cube. kind of surrounded by him, by the the shadowed figures and Damascus. Okay. All right. Well. All right. I did it. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I did. I, I'm the guy who told me to it's to totally it work. <laughs> it's totally good. Uh, what one of the face? Okay, yeah, one of them fails. And the second one passes. All right, so. Damascus passes, by the way. Awesome. I got an 18. Let me just edit this and make sure that, so they have disadvantage, they have disadvantage on attacks or yeah. they have advantage on attacks on them? They have disadvantage on all attacks against them. We have advantage on attacks against them. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely what I meant. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Phelous entered the fog, so. Probably a wisdom save. 
Okay, I'm just putting that in. All right, yes, I, I need they a enter the phone? saving throw from you. Okay. Oh, 19 on the die. Uh, You're good. Yeah. You, okay, you start to hear these like whispers in the back of your head and you're just like, no, no, it's cool. Shake your head and you're good. That didn't work out exactly as I had hoped. Live and learn. <laughs> I, it was still awesome. I, yeah. the fog is a slippery bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damascus. Um, would you let me try and pick up um, the, the man, the male elf with a bonus action? Or do I have to use my full action for it? Here's there two. You can try and wake him up. Okay. He's, he's, he looks like he's groggily coming to as he's getting smacked in the face over and over again. Just okay. Like, or you can bonus action try and carry him with your strength. I'm going to try and carry him out of there. All right. So uh, give me a strength check. I have a minus one, but that's okay. 15? Yeah. Yeah. Pick him up. All right. I'm going to uh, pick him up. Uh, turn to the the girl face. Uh-huh. I guess you said her name was, uh-huh. and be like, "We need to get out of this cloud as quickly as it can, as we can." Uh-huh. And I'm going to probably take opportunity attacks. Yeah. To you have know, you have three quarters it. cover though, just so you're aware. Oh, okay. Anyone in the fog has three quarter cover because it's foggy and they don't really know where you are. Still, um, Edgar asked me to come over to him. I'm going to drag this unconscious guy over to the cleric. Um, I'll take the opportunity attacks. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, that's from, you're not, are you, no, you are leaving the fogs area. Of, mm-hmm. God damn it. It's three. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Let's roll that. 18. Uh, shield. Puts my armor to 23. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. That misses you. The fog tries to like close in on you and you're just like, nah, nay. Can I be like happens a bang? Is, Can you, I... no, uh, you get a, a divine glow. <laughs> and it pushes everything away from you. Pretty. Um, let's try. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me, bro? Uh, 11 does not hit. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Last one. 15 does not hit either. You it make it out. All you right. make it to to uh, Edgar, who has an action save. Yep, and I'm casting protection from good and evil on him. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. What what are what does that do? Uh protects him. Uh he the uh, uh, creatures of aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead uh, have uh, they have protection from them. Uh, creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target, and the target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. So, so, so they can't attack him, or they have dis- disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. Yo, you, you might have just fucked some shit up for them. That's good. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I have questions too. On my okay, turn. okay, 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 okay. Uh, next, however, it is the yes, Dan. Your mic is off, babe. Yes, it is. I still have an action. Go ahead. Uh, can I Eldritch Blast the cloud, the fog cloud? You can. All right, I just. T- launch light out of my sword. That's going to be a 19 to hit. Yo, yeah, that hits. Cool. Four. Where's my D10? Well, the 10. 14. Uh, I think it's radiant damage we said my Eldritch Blast does. You, it's force right now. You, you oh, can't force change damage. it. Okay. Okay. So 14 force damage. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, nice. Okay. They yell out for the girl, get out of the fog. You just you just hear it and you're just like, no shit. 
Um, but that being said, it is the fog's turn. Um, and it is going to move to envelop you again. And now it has Edgar as well. Um, I need you to make a, uh, what was it wisdom or intelligence? Intelligence was the, uh, yeah. Intelligence was the creatures. I think you said, yeah. Shadow uh, I'm apparently blind now. I thought the so... horror got two attacks. Okay. Yeah. No, this is just a, this is just something that happens when, you, when it's around you. Uh, mm. I need a wisdom saving throw. I'm also in the fog. Should I take that? Oh, you are. Yes. Both of you. Yeah. Do it. Wisdom save. Yeah. Ooh. Nat 20. Oh, you're good. Nothing. You, you're Keenan. 16. You're also good. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm freaking happy. That's a 12, but I'm going to use my inspiration to roll again. Yeah, that's probably smart. Uh, okay. That's going to be a 15. Okay. You're good. Cool. Nice. Um, it is going to. Uh... Okay, it's going to. Why am I doing this? Um, okay, <laughs> Shayla, can you make me a wisdom saving throw? I would love to do another one of those. <laughs> yeah, that's an eight. Fuck. Okay, so you have guidance from chat. I don't think it'll help though. That's only a d4, right? Yeah. Uh, guidance is a d6. It... Oh, no. Oh, no, so before. Sorry, I'm um, thinking inspiration. I, I don't think it's worth it because it's only an eight. Yeah, you're not, you're, you won't pass. Um, it's okay. So, the, so phantasmal images within the falsifier fog reach outward. Um, and you take 4d8 um, psychic damage. That is 16 damage and the creatures in the fog space now have disadvantage on saving throws okay. rebuke. oh yes nice. i'll cast it at second level okay roll me damage yeah. and oh. and like that bonfire sort of vibe just like explodes and sparks out of it after all that injury and the cloud takes uh 3d10 it's not great <laughs> it only takes eight damage but it's something okay so you <laughs> actually up. wait that should be oh come on okay so it it looks like it almost just tickled the cloud well it and it takes half damage shit i mean yeah. it was a really bad roll but i tried okay okay but you you guys are doing good you're doing doing good okay. i by the way am not doing good friends i look very hurt <laughs> yeah remember that you guys have potions i stopped you with potions it's all good um this. edgar uh uh Yes. What do you need? It's your turn. Oh, my turn. Me. Right. Yeah. Uh, can I see Phelus? Yeah, or... she's. Oh, it's it's surrounding you guys. How far would you say that you were away from him? From she's Edgar. Five feet ahead of me. I ran thirty feet like forward, so I'm probably twenty okay, feet so, yeah. into the cloud or whatever. You're you're pretty much about like yeah. You're five feet away from him. You did your full movement, and you did your full movement. Yeah, you're five feet away from him. He's behind you. Or he, yeah, you're in, yeah. Uh, you you can see her shadow. But all right, nice. Uh, I'll use a bonus action healing word on Phyllis. Uh, for five hit points. Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, and then I will step in in front of her or in front. I guess in front of Phalus, like walking over past her, shield out, uh, just 
because I know that the faceless figures are ahead of us. Uh, and because I know I can attack the fog, I'll attack the fog. Okay, go for it. Oh, wait, the elf is still up there, isn't she? Yes, she is. She has yet to go. She goes after you. I'll st- I'll stay next to Phalus. Okay. And uh, attack the fog. Okay. How with what? How? Uh, Warhammer. Go for it. Uh, eighteen to hit. Yeah, you definitely hit the fog. Cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Uh, six damage. Six damage. Okay, you also notice that it doesn't it doesn't do as much damage as it should. God damn it. <sighs> I know. Oh, um I mean, yeah. And then I was gonna ask you a question. Um yeah. but I don't think Edgar would know, but Nick does. Just just because of uh, how your world is. Because mm-hmm. we don't we don't know certain things because they're not uh, in the game mm-hmm. whether or not they're undead or not. Uh huh. Oh oh yeah. You would. This is this is something fucking weird. It feels unnatural and sickly. Yeah. So I wouldn't know to cast a uh, or channel divinity repel undead. Uh, is that a bonus action or anything? No, like it's that? a full action. But Edgar wouldn't know that it's undead. no. You, you you can try it next time. Yeah, maybe. Okay. If we survive. If you survive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which now we go to Faiza, who is stuck between two of these faceless shadow things. And, and hmm? she's glowing. She failed. <laughs> yes, and she's glowing. God damn. Which means her attacks are with disadvantage, right? Attacks against her attacks are with advantage. Are with advantage. Okay. So what she is going to do, and she's I have to roll for it. See if she freaking do it. If I will be more clear that I wouldn't cast it if people, my friends, are in it. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> she actually can do something this turn. Okay. She. You see her panicking and like getting really worked up and then suddenly the ground where is this i lost it uh the ground erupts with just like spikes of glass the ground around her um and in a 20 foot radius wait how far are you guys no wait she's burning fuck it she's burning a goddamn uh what are those things called sorcerer Sorcerer point point. Yeah. yeah Right, so that's 2d4 piercing damage to everything in the thing. It goes, it'll go around you guys, and let's roll it. Oh my gosh, this is going so slow! <laughs> Three damage, but she's created like. Yeah, she panicked. I got nothing for you guys. Uh, and I'll, everything will take three damage. So let's see here. So I made a mistake in that I was like, okay, what will Phyllis, like pack as a spell to be like a traveler and like move across the world? And none of these spells are good for combat. And just so you know, I was like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be so realistic because I was like, oh, maybe we'll have to like play through like moving across and we didn't. So apologies in advance for being a druid that has no combat <laughs> stuff at all. We can work That's on that okay. when you guys level up. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, she's going to take the attacks as she shapes the spell around herself to try to get out. Um, let's see. Mm. Fuck, that's a lot of attacks. Uh, okay. Didn't she just disengage? <laughs> a sorcerer? Because she panicked. Mm. 
and you only get bonus. I guess you could just engage as your action. Yeah. But listen, it's fine. She's good. Okay, let's see this one. She's panicked. That's what it is. It's fair. Yeah. She's like, uh, oh shit, things. See. Okay, she gets hit once. Let's see. Do so you get hit again? Oh, fuck. So the cloud doesn't do anything to her, but uh, the two the two uh, shadows in front of her do a fuck ton of damage. Six, mm-hmm. five, all right. Oh, plus psychic damage. <laughs> okay. So that is about 25 damage. Here we go. <laughs> she does not look good, guys. She looks like she's about to pass out. But she makes it out of the fog. She makes it to at least where you guys are and her companion. Um, Alewin. Sweet. Um, how far is the fog? Like, I haven't moved. I didn't move forward. Yeah, so, so it's been coming it? closer. I'd say it's about probably 30 feet from you now. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, she'll go ahead and cast Scorching Ray at just the fog. So there's three different three different uh, little little fire rays. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Rip, rip, rip. Uh, I've got a seven. Oop. Shit. Hold on. I dropped that one. Uh, a one and a 13. Now, you have to roll t- for each of those to hit, right? Yes. Okay. So seven. One of them hits. Okay. So only one. Okay. So that'll be uh, 2d6 of damage, fire damage. So it's going to be six points of fire damage towards the fog. The, fo- the fog is a beefy boy, uh, and it. takes a little takes about half of that. Yo. Okay. So we've hit it with fire damage, and then what was the other damage that we hit it with? Uh, fire and um. Edgar's. It, Edgar's hammer. attack. Ed, yes. My hellish attack. So it's probably all of it. Which yeah. is a non-magical weapon. Yeah. Just, that's probably everything. <laughs> but I hit it with hellish rebuke, which is for sure magical. Mm-hmm. But fire. Yeah, but it's well, fire damage. It has yeah, resistance. Right. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Is so I don't weird. know why I did this to you guys. It's okay. It's oh, cool. Um, it, and then I can still do a little bit of movement, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, Alayron's going to go ahead and move like, like 15 feet back. And as she's backing up, she's going to go... It, do you, does anybody see anything different? Uh, is this, should we stay? You gonna run? No, she's not yet. <laughs> Are we allowed to answer or do we have to wait for a turn? You can, no, go answer, go oh. ahead. Uh, we cannot, we cannot run. We must, there are thousands of people here. What do we do? We, we get the fuck out of here and then all these people get hurt? What, who, I thought, you were we can brave. help the people along the way. Can we not move that elf yet? He doesn't seem to be on his feet, and I don't know if he's going to be able to get on his feet anytime soon. At least in the meantime, we need to distract this thing. Otherwise, it's going to kill him and the town. It's very fast. Obviously. And if it kills us all? <laughs> At least we died trying. We won't As... have any more. As you guys are having this conversation, one of those shatter- shadows is moving towards you, just flowing. It doesn't even look like you, like there's no feet. Like, how are you walking? It's just floating towards you. And um, a little kid, no more than six, runs in between you, Damascus, because you're the closest, and the shadow the faceless shadow and it looked like it was just about to take a slash at you and this shadow hesitates stops 
and you hear in the back of your head, and it picks this kid up, walks it, spends its whole turn walking it outside of the fog and everything, putting it down and walking back. That was its whole turn. Well, that was odd. Right. Y'all, I was reading when I read the, the thing, it actually said that they sometimes help children. They don't oh, that's shit about anyone else, but sometimes they help children. Okay. I don't know. I had to have it in there. The next one, though, now that there's no kid there, comes up and just tries to bop you in the face, Damascus. He's, um, he's going to have to go through me first. I'm, a, I'm ahead. Are you? I walked ahead. I thought you did the, for that for Phelous. I did. Is it Phelous oh, yeah. in front of? of... <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. Damascus ran back to me. Yeah. I walked up to Phelous. All right. So then that happened in front of, of uh, Edgar. But next oh. one's going to try and hit you. Let's see. 12. That does not nope. hit. 18. Just hits. Just hits. Okay. You take four slash, slashing damage and uh, five psychic damage. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Great. How could this go wrong? Uh, Phelous? Okay. This time I'm going to be trying to be very clear. Okay. Uh, I want to move so that I have a <laughs> um, 10 foot. I would like to, in a perfect world, run so that I can have a 10 foot area in front of me where the two like creepy floaty dudes are and also still be in the fog so I can get all three of them. Is there a way to do that and not hit my friends? Yeah, you could go right up to them. Great, I'll do that, that's fine. Um, so I will do that. Mm, wait, how it's right up in front of one of them is right up in front of Edgar. Um, yeah, no, yeah, you can definitely do it. Yeah, go between those two. Yeah, so I almost like nudge Edgar out of the way and stand in front and again do the <sighs> and this time I like instead of sending a bonfire up, I send again. You see the sort of like wet mud that you saw come out of my hands, uh, when we were in the bar. Now, like, send downwards and it like sends right into the earth and like right in front of me for 10 feet in to do these two things. The earth like bubbles and boils and kind of like does like a tiny earthquake 10 feet in front of me. And I'm going to do earth tremor. Uh, and they need to do a dexterity saving throw. Let's see here. All three of them, I guess. Okay. And you have advantage on one of them. Yes. So, oh, what? Wait, that's a deck save. 17 for one. Yeah, that passes. And 19 for the other. God damn you. Damn that's okay. They still take half. And what about the fog? Does the fog? Oh, yeah, I can do a deck save for the fog. Sure. <laughs> fuck, rolling so low. It, it gets a 21. <laughs> okay. The fog so, just like pulls itself up. <laughs> nah, that's cool. They still take two damage. Okay. All of them. And regardless, the area is now um, um, difficult terrain. So they have to, to get to us. It's like double. So I know they'll still get to me or whatever. Hopefully that'll slow them down. Okay. And let me put this here. Okay, cool. So it's difficult terrain for that 10 feet. So that 10 feet counts as 20 feet movement. Um, that box in front of me. Uh, that's it. Damn it. It's hard not to have bonus actions. Hey, you notice, you notice that the fog is kind of starting to dissipate a little. Okay. okay. There's, there's at least like 50% less of it. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Um, all right. The male elf jolts up awake. Uh, looks around, but I don't know why. You, uh, everyone who's there with him, roll me perception. 
anyone in the fog basically or who's close to this male elf so who was it? i think damascus and that's it now right oh yeah we're five feet ahead yeah, yeah they so, didn't go far yeah. yeah and it's less yeah go ahead look yeah roll perception uh i rolled a con check to keep concentration on protection of good and evil i got a Oh, perception. I add something to that. 18 oh. perception, if I can see them. I, add a, I got a 16. Yeah, 13. he's blind. He's oh. trying to... You see, like, he's his eyes, like, milky, you know, like, kind of really, really light blue. He's trying to get his bearings for a second. Um, uh, the female elf is like, is like, we're being attacked, telling him what, what's going on. He stands up. Where is this? Where's his thing? He stands up, takes out. It's going to take forever to load. Why do you hate me? Takes out. um, uh, Let's go with a long sword. He has a long sword here and just hacks away at the fog. Yeah. You, okay. Hang on. Yeah, no, he completely misses everyone. You, hang on. Don't worry. <laughs> um, let's roll this. So that is 18 to hit. Awesome. You hit. Are you, do you get two attacks? You do get two attacks. Let's see. What's the next one? That's a six. You quit. Good. Awesome. 1d8. So that's nine plus seven okay nine plus seven plus an extra d4 so he's kind of a he's a brute hits hits things real hard oh that is nine and eight let's see uh do 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 plus eight uh the fog is like you guys can see each other real well right now it's, it's not doing well and he s- kind of moves back to stand beside that female elf um yeah that's his turn um but i just noticed the time do we want it's going to be top of the round do we want to take a quick five Ten minute, five minute break. Like two minutes here. would be great. Yeah. 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 Stretch. Right. Awesome. We'll do five. All right. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. We're gonna be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> We're back. Also, you guys are shipping people already, and I'm here for it. I love this. I need. I need to start like drawing fan fiction. Right. <laughs> I'm here for this. Fan fiction's half the fun of all media. Seriously, no, I, I live for it. Um, we are at the top of the round. Damascus, you are surrounded by gross, icky fog, and I believe two shadow peoples. No, okay. they're up with Phalus and yeah. Edgar. Yeah, they're like 10 feet ahead of me or something like that. Um, Faiza, the, the female elf, mm-hmm. is nearby, near her brother, or yes. near near the other one. She's right behind you. Cool. Um, I'm. She. You said she was looking real rough. You're like almost dead. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna throw her a healing word. Oh, very nice. Uh, that's gonna be spell slot. So she's gonna heal. I'll just roll it online. She's going to heal six hit points better than nothing. Uh, and then I'm going to make an attack with my blade. Uh huh. Hopefully. And just that's it. 19. I'm just going to say, Beloth, it's a magic in this thing. Let it work. And just kind of swing wildly at the cloud. Uh, that's a 26 total. To hit? Yeah. yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, cool. I mean, it's a fucking cloud. It's all Sorry. around you. You hit say it. 20, 24, whatever. You Something. still hit it. It doesn't have like IAC. Cool. And that's By the be. power of Grayskull. <laughs> the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I, love uh, I mean, it might have worked. That's a plus four. That's 10 damage. Not bad. And yeah, that's a magical weapon. Yeah. Appreciate it, Bella. Um, and then I would like to run up next to where Edgar and Phelas are. Because um, mm-hmm. I know that they're not looking great. And I've still got my temporary hit points from the Ambrosia. So I'm feeling, Damascus is feeling pretty good. And he's going to just be as belligerent as possible to these hooded figures. Just be like, you think you're big and tough chasing after a, a blind man and a scared girl? Bring it on. You think you can take me? I got a fancy new shield. See what you can do. Edgar, I got a new shield. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um you- <laughs> That laugh, by the way, you hear that in the back of your head. That's, that's the shadows. <laughs> uh, Edgar, your turn. Uh, it's not the it's not the fox turn. Fuck, motherfucker! It is. So, gee, okay, this is not. We're eighteen plus here. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I I swear like a trucker. Apologies. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh no, you don't have it no more. Um, it's going to attack. You know what? You're a mousy little bitch. Damascus. <laughs> you know, come on. I thought oh, you were my... talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for reminding you of the damn turn. Oh, uh, it misses. Let's do a second attack. It also misses. It's not looking so great. Okay, cool. That is its turn. It's it's just trying to like coalesce and come back together. Edgar. <laughs> um What what is Phelus using as a weapon? Uh, so far, I haven't used a weapon. I've just been doing like spell stuff, but you can see strapped to my back a like pretty cool like scimitar. Okay. Uh, I will drop protection of good and evil off of Damascus and quickly. Phelous, use your scimitar and I'll smack the back of her. Uh, smack her back basically and cast a uh, magical or a magic weapon which turns your, your weapon into a magic weapon with plus one to damage and <laughs> yeah. plus one to attack rolls amazing yeah uh and then i will well that's a bonus action and then i will take the attack action on one of the faceless figures in front of me. Okay. Uh, Which is a 12. One of them you have advantage on. So the one on the left, if you would like to do that and roll again. Sure. If it's up there. Yeah. Ah, 15. You hit. Yay. So, what would you, what's your damage? Oh, yeah, might need that. Uh, seven. Nice. Um, okay. Let's apply that. Very good, very good. You see the shadows, uh, see, you see the shadow, you hit it with your war- hammer and the shadows like kind of go in and then come apart and then just reform a bit. Um, is that your turn? Yep, that's it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Again, it is Phase's turn. See if you're good. See if you're useless. You're useless. She's panicking too hard. She's hiding behind her brother and not, not in the fight this turn. She doesn't feel good. You know what she will do? 
she will no she's not she's nothing she's gonna do nothing uh Elewin. uh Elewin is going to uh cast deja vu on uh shadow number one so do you want me to read that to you do you remember what that is i do not remember what does that do so uh you briefly rewind the thoughts of a creature of your choice that you can see within range the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or have its mind stutter backwards or have its mind stutter backwards in time on the creature's next turn, they must take the same action that they took on their previous turn. If the creature is unable to take that action again, it uh, instead takes no action. So it saved the kid. Holy, in its last sh- it, action. holy shit. I was like, yeah. what was it? It did. It it's it's like, Ooh, I don't great. know if you heard me, but I was like, oh. <laughs> Hell yes. That's amazing. I, I was what's paying the, attention. What's the, what's the wisdom? What's the DC? Uh, it is going to be... It is a... Eh, sorry. Go away. Uh, shoot. Uh, there is no DC on it. Your DC is My 13. DC. Correct. Okay. Uh, plus... Is it plus two? No, nope, that's my armor class. Never mind. Yeah, 13. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. It rolled a 12. Hey! Hey! Okay, yes! <laughs> All right. Good to go. Good to go. Is that your turn? Uh, yes, because it's an action. Yes, it's a whole action. Do you so. want to move? Do you, do you want to say anything? I'm totally good with you guys talking in combat, by the way. Um, so not, I'm not going to count it as an action or anything. I don't think she's going to. She's going to she'll probably move back another 15 feet and just and just let the next shadow go (laughs) awesome okay um so now you are you're about 60 60 feet away okay okay all right uh it is (laughs) it is that um, that's why i did it (laughs) it's that shadow's turn and it goes so good it stops, like, goes to pick up a kid, shakes its head, like, I thought, and then just gets confused for a minute, and we skip its turn. Um, face look number two, though, like, pushes the other one out of the way, like, what? <sighs> um, and goes to make, uh, Edgar, you're up at the front. Uh-huh. No, you're, be- yeah. you're between, the- Phelis is between them. Okay, so that's number two. It, it's going to attack you then. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. All right. Roll, roll it. Okay, hang on. Um, It does a claw for 19. That's going to hit. 19 hits, yes. Okay, so as this shadow comes down to hit you, um. Faza actually is able to fling a spell at you and it creates a bubble around you. And the shadow is not able to hit you. I was kind of, I was so ready to do hellish rebuke again, but okay. Thanks. Wait, hang on, hang on, wait, wait, hang on. I gotta gotta check. Let me see this. Yeah, no. Hmm? What what did you say? Does uh, hellish rebuke just require an action or an attack to be made against you know yeah, whether... it has to i have to be damaged by an attack okay yeah well you still got another hit coming your way oh god okay <laughs> great so okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome 16 you're good oh it, yeah it, 16 hits no no you're good you still have that shield it lasts and, oh the it lasts a whole round okay mm-hmm. great okay amazing yeah, I made her a made her a special spell that she can okay. just throw shields at people. Great, as a I reaction. Mean, in the end, it's probably good. So thank you again. <laughs> You're welcome. Um. Okay. Phelous. Okay, so I kind of like look at Edgar, and I felt him like something like hit my back, and like he said, like use your scimitar or something. So I pull it out, 
And I'm actually curious, like, what does your magic look like on my scimitar? Uh, just a light blue hue on it. I feel like that feels sort of like very different because my magic is like deep, dark jungle colors, like a dark greens and browns. And I'm like, oh. this better work. Okay. Ah. And I go I ahead and like slash out to the uh, creepy motherfucker in front of me. Uh, and I will, <laughs> do I get just bonus to, do I get a bonus to attack or just a damage? Uh, it's a plus, plus one, one to hit. And damage. One plus to one to hit. Attack okay. and plus one to damage. Okay. Are you attacking? Are you attacking the one that's very fired? Because then you have advantage. negative. That okay. one is in front of her, behind her. Okay. Yeah. So whatever's in front of me is fine. Oh, that's uh, that's going to hit. So that's like a twenty-one alone. So that's a twenty-two with the d- bonus. Oh yeah, you slash this thing like right across the chest. Nice. I and see like cool blue go through it. My damage isn't huge for this, but let's see. It's just plus one to this. Yep. Oh, plus, <laughs> plus, uh, what's your normal? I only rolled a one on my D6, so that's only a four total. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see your thing. Because it's a D6 plus two on its own, okay, and then so it's just something. a plus one. Damn okay, it. so I was you hoping that was a... gonna be cool. What did you roll? I only rolled a one on my D6. Oh no. So it's only four damage. Three, four damage. That's not bad. Better than two. Um, yeah. Every little bit. It's yeah. full damage, too. So that's a good thing. Good something. Um, and then, yeah, I think I'm just going to stay there because I'm almost like, come on. Like, I really want to use my hellish rebuke because that's almost my most powerful thing right now. So uh, I'm like, I'm egging this thing on by like hitting it with this powerful scimitar. You like, hear from that female elf? That was hot. <laughs> Thank you. We can talk later. Maybe we have a the beverage. Okay, focus. <laughs> um, Threven, which is the male elf, just kind of shoves his sister sideways. Just like shot that. <laughs> And uh, he'll make, that was your turn, yes? Okay, yeah, so he makes uh, his two attacks on the um, the fog. Let's see what they are. Why do you hate me? So, ooh, that hits, okay. And that hits, yay! Let's see, that's a D8. Eight, four, so that's eight plus, what does he hit with? That's not him, that's you. Plus five, not bad. Okay, so uh, he, you know, smashes at this fog with his sword and um, it dissipates. It's almost anticlimactic, it just, dissipates and off into the air and that's the fog um well that takes care of one problem he goes what other problems are there he can well he he can kind of see what's going on he's got like blind sense within like 10 feet he doesn't know what's going on where you guys are stay there and take care of your sister we'll take care of it She's badly hurt. Okay, shut up. <laughs> to um, get out, man. Damascus. Um, all right. I spark so far. Is there a uh which of the two creepy looking dudes is more hurt? Let's start with that. Creepy looking dude. Uh, it- number two, actually. The one that does not have the advantage on. Okay. Uh, behind, fa- uh, behind, behind, um, not behind, in front of Fateless. Is there one like within reach of me that I would? The one that has advantage is right in front of you. Okay. So I'll take a whack at that guy then. With advantage is going to be. Uh, it's a good thing I have advantage because one of those was a two. Does a 15 hit? Yeah. Noise. 
four. Just mute. Um, oh, there you go. Hmm? You're muted. I got him. I got him. Alec muted me. Oh, baby boy. <laughs> um, can I? I meant to say this beforehand, but I forgot. Can I say that I'm using the my Belloth Brilliant Blade, the Green Flame Blade? Yeah. Okay. So if there is another um, creature within five feet of it, is the other one within five feet of it? Uh, no. Okay. That's, <laughs> you, I mean, unless you want to hit Valos. No, then it makes no difference. So that'll be, uh, then it's just six damage. Okay. Six damage. And then. As it's okay. A, it's okay. Better than nothing. And as a bonus action, I am going to throw a Bardic Inspiration at Phalus and just say, uh, Phalus, you, you hit pretty hard with that scimitar. Keep at it. Uh, as we say in Druidic, uh, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Anytime, nice. darling. Uh, Edgar, your turn. Uh, I will... I will hook my uh, Warhammer back in its uh, handle and I will cast uh, Sacred Flame uh, at the one, uh, the sparkly one. Okay. Uh, 13 deck save. 13 deck save. Okay. Okay. It, 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 got, it got a 16. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I guess I'll take the dodge action. No, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Faza, let's see. <laughs> She's just hiding behind her brother. She can't do shit. She got a nat one. She can't do it. I rolled to see if she can help. No, she's just full fear panic mode. And we're going to go on to a lay win. Oh, sad. Yeah, no, she's in fear. She's just terrified. There. Um, a lay win is going to cast magic missile on. We said shadow number two is looking worse, correct? I mean, now it's shadow number one. Oh, okay 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 cool 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 well okay yeah fair enough okay back to shadow number one uh so that's going to be cast magic missile on the darkness there you go <laughs> <laughs> uh it's three separate darts so should i roll uh they all just individually hit. okay okay magic missile is bomb it just hits love Great. it so that's going to be a 16 to hit they no. all hit. They all hit. It hits. Oh, magic missile automatically. Oh hits. shit. Okay. Never mind. Look at me go. Okay. Yeah, roll damage. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> roll your 3d4s. Like Add three. Yeah. One second. Okay, so that's going to be three, two, three. That's gonna be nine points of force damage. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I was like, let's try something non-elemental. Oh, guys, guys, yes, yes, I'm so proud of you. Yes, you're doing well. I was so afraid I was going to kill you all. Was that? <laughs> did that half damage or was that? Was no, that, that did point? full damage. Hell yeah, that, yeah. Nice. Okay, is that your turn? Uh, it is in the yes. Okay, so let's well, see here. Um, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I think uh, it's. Do I have one more dart? Because I cast it at level two. Hold on. When you cast a spell mm -hmm. using a oh, spell yes, slot you do. Of two second level or higher. Okay, so one more dart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hot damn. Plus see. one. Yeah. Uh, that's another four points mm -hmm. of uh, force damage. 
Nice. My bad. Technically, it was still my turn, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll pay closer attention. This Great thing, head. this thing is starting to look rough. Sweet. Starting to look pretty rough. I don't know how shadows starting look rough. to. <laughs> <laughs> like like if we were like at a battery charged it would be like about 50 percent charged okay all right i might i wasn't going easy on you guys all right uh, we got it but speaking of which it, it it's it's her it's turn um uh, 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 uh it's got two people in front of it hit me hit ya all right Fuck. 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 Okay, it's gonna do um shit. Okay. Bring it on, come on. I have oh, a bardic I'm... inspiration from chat too. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> or not bardic inspiration, uh, guidance, whatever. DC DC 13 intelligence saving throw, please. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. I'm gonna need guidance from chat <laughs> i roll higher than a two i got it uh-huh. that is a three so that's 14 okay cool so that doesn't happen um whew, that could have been bad um what does it do on a success takes half damage all right <laughs> Um, okay, what's half of 17? Somebody math for me. Eight. Okay, you take eight damage. For a second, I panicked and I was like, that's 17 damage. No, no, it's half. When the DM panics, Jesus. All right, take a damage and I just, like a steel trap, yank. <laughs> you you yourself again. Oh my God, this animal. Uh, it's going to be the faceless number two which is in front of Phalus, and it's going to try and slash at you. Okay. Uh, it does not hit. Okay, next one. Let's see. 18 will, ha- will hit. Yeah, 18 hits. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, Quite a lot, yeah. That's, fuck, eight damage plus, okay. wait, plus three psychic. Uh, you're done now right yeah i'm done now okay that's fine so that's uh thir- 11 okay yeah that's do fine. you want to hellish rebuke it yes i do <laughs> uh, I, I was waiting until you were done i'm definitely gonna hellish rebuke and i still saved a second level hellish rebuke so <sighs> and again i like pitch a bunch of like dark mud at it uh and uh say so you take uh, you need to do a dexterity saving throw. God, guys, guys, they're they're good at dex. I know, but that's but that just... being said, when you roll a five, when you get a five, <gasps> you fail. Good. Okay, good. So you take three d ten. Please roll better this time. Last time I rolled like a two and a one and a Please whatever. It was not good. This is Let's see those zeros. That's better. Nine, eight, and five. So that's 17. That's 22, right? Nice. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Let's do this. 22. Ah, and I basically like throw a mudslide at them. You guys, like, it, it, it takes them backwards. Like, the, you push it right backwards with that mudslide. It's looking really messed up. Finally, I do something useful. Okay, amazing. Okay, that's my second level. Spell's gone, though, but huh, it's fine. Huh. As a, as, a, as a, is it, is it, that's its turn. No, it, yeah, that was its turn. Okay. All right. So, Phalus, it is actually your turn. Good timing. Ah, so, I throw mud at them and then I like take my scimitar again in front of me and like do like a cool ah, ah, and then slash them again with it where it looks like, you know, the combination of the cool, like blue, like nice claret glow like with the sort of like muddy sort of like brown viney scimitar that it is and i'll just try and slash him uh with that again oh, so that's it. a um it's a, it's a plus five 
with the extra plus one. And I do, I'll remember this time I have Bardic and Guidance, but let me roll first. Ooh, that's, a, I rolled it 17 on a die. So that's- You hit, you hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I can't use either of those for damage, right? They're just- No. Right, no. Okay, that's fine. My damage is not great on this though, but that's okay. It's just a D6 plus three technically with the extra. Ooh, I rolled a five at least and that's eight damage. Nice. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. This is it's it's starting to sway. I did like what 27 points of damage that turn? Did really good. Like, 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 like so close. So close, guys. Oof. Okay. Okay. Um <coughs> bon- bon- bonus action, take a potion. Because you got like two hit points. Oh, I forgot that bonus action. We could do that. Sorry, because it's not listed as a bonus action. I always forget that I can do that. So I will absolutely I'm just gonna remind you. <laughs> bonus action. Thank take. you. Thank you so much for that because I have what three hit points right now? Two. You have like two, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I will bonus action chug my and it's just a regular, right? So it's two D yeah, four plus D- four. 2d4 yeah 2d4 plus or 2d4 yeah. plus two plus two yeah it's just regular it's not not yeah, greater yeah. okay 2d4 i was gonna heal you so Ooh, i swear to god i rolled two i swear rolled two fours nice yeah. i totally believe you, points so. of damage okay yeah and i'll uh, do my potion that's my turn awesome okay let's go with let's add that back okay okay so threven just going to protect his sister because I, I don't think anything is close enough to them. Um, and it'll go back to the top of the order, which is Damascus. All right. Um, so there's two guys. One is almost dead. The other one is okay. Yes. It's, 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 it's looking rough, but okay. not like dead yet. Okay. Uh, how many people are surrounding the one that is rough but not dead? Is that me and Edgar? Yeah. Cool. I mean, technically behind it is Phelous too, so three. So we're all within five feet of it? Yeah. Cool. Then I'm going to try this and hope it works. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on it. And if it <laughs> succeeds, it runs away and we can all use reactions to hack away at it. Do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's a wisdom wisdom? saving throw, DC 14. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. (laughs) It rolls a five. Yes. So it's going to take 3d6 damage. That's my last spell slot. Okay, so it's going to take off, try and take off and uh, away from you guys. Okay, it's going to take six damage. Okay. And then it has to use its movement to its reaction to move as far as it can, as far as its speed allows away from me. And okay. I would like to use my reaction to swing at it with my sword. Do it. So I'm just going to be attack. like, run away, you creepy ass, whatever the hell you are. And they, It feels really bad about itself. It's like, I'm not creepy. It's kind of creepy. To, I came here to have a good time and I'm honestly so sorry. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be attacking people. Uh, I attack it for tw- a dirty 20. Yeah, you hit. It's going to be... Ooh, we're holding it eight. 12 damage. 12 damage. Nice. Okay. Um, Edgar. And then uh, Edgar and Phelas yep. if they wanted to. I can't. Uh, I use my reaction using Hellish Rebuke. Ooh, that's you got really, it back. Yeah. You got it back. It was your turn. Yeah, it's top of the round. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was right before my turn. Oh, yep. dang, amazing. Okay, yep. Would you like to make an opportunity attack, Edgar? Uh, yeah, it's going to be an unarmed strike. Okay, go for it. Ah, 21. Okay, you hit. Yeah. And just four damage. Ooh, this thing is like on last legs, guys. Am I allowed to ask if it hits? Because I rolled... A 10 on the die, my scimitar is plus four, but I can use guidance. It hits. Yeah. You it can hits ask. without guidance? Yeah. It hits, yeah. Great. Um, great. Uh, and then D6 plus three. Fuck, I rolled a one again. That's four points of damage. <laughs> Phelous, how would you like to kill it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I see my two friends. 
um sort of like <laughs> one of them do some sort of I can tell like magical effect where they look at him and like go to run away. I see my new cleric friend give it a little like, oh, and then I'm like, <sighs> with like my scimitar that is sort of like, it looks like the base of it looks like it's wrapped in sort of like cured like vine leaves and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now the blade is sort of glimmering in this slight like blue light from my cleric friend. And I like look at them like, all right, I guess we're doing this. And I just like, Ah! and I do like a sort of like druidic like it it's interesting because like I just yell but to my friends it sounds for a second a little bit more like feral it sounds a little bit more like a a roar than a yell there's a bit of a "Ah!" to it nice and then I kind of like shake it off because as you've said this thing seems a bit off and I'm like I almost didn't like it like touching my my scimitar even and I shake yeah So you swing your scimitar around, purely you decapitate this thing. And then with that growl, that just like feral growl, kind of like cross between like, I'm thinking like bear and like tiger or like mm-hmm. lion, something like that. And it, its head circles in the air, everything dissipates and this white plate just shatters on the floor where its face was. There's still one more, right? Yeah, there's still, there's one, still one more. more. Well, that's what I'll call teamwork. Um, speaking of which, the only person on my team that Damascus hasn't given a bardic inspiration to is Lewin. So What's I'm the range to... on that. Oh, you that's do, a as long good as you question. can see it. Um, sixty feet, as long as I can see it. Mm-hmm. Go for it. So I'm gonna turn back to Lewin and be like. There's one left, Lewin. If you got a spell for it, give it a shot and give you a bardic inspiration. The D6. Okay. Edgar, your turn. I will cast uh, Sacred Flame on the last one. Okay. 13. Is that the, it, oh, it's, I don't have to do a deck save or anything like that? It just hits? Uh, it is 13 decks. Wait, I have to do the deck save or it hits it? You have to do a okay. DC 13 deck save. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hey, 10. It hits it. Nice. Uh, it is radiant damage. Okay. In case that does anything. Oh, nice. Uh, seven, seven damage. Seven damage. Okay, this thing is like barely standing. Barely standing. Uh, and I will. It's the one ahead of Phalus, right? Mm hmm. Okay, I'll run up next door. And then that's my turn. Phaza, let's see. Oh, she can do something. All right. So you hear her, you hear her brother be like, get it together. And she's like, I'm fine. It's not, it's not you can't even see them. And uh, <laughs> like she's like snapping her fingers, trying to like get her magic going. And that is Phaelas's sheet. Let's not do that. And she casts. Mind spike. So let's see here. Does it make a save? It makes a wisdom save. Let us see. It gets a three, so it definitely fails. Let's roll the dice. 3d8. Okay. Dang. Okay. Well, I mean, it's overkill, but like, it's super dead. <laughs> it's super, <laughs> super dead. She, she got, she has like 22 points of damage. Yeah. It, it had four. <laughs> points. Her brother making fun of her was just enough and she lost her shit on it. 
And he's like, is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are out of combat. Um, before uh, the mask falls, can I try to grab it? Before yes, you I... can. <gasps> uh, Ooh, uh, 16. Sure. Yeah. You definitely catch it. You have this, um, it's an oval kind of like oval ivory covered plate, not made of any material that you can recognize. Ooh. It's got a weird feel to it. Like how weird? Like, uh. Roll me investigation. And otherwise they disappeared? Like there's yeah, nothing left. There's, there's no nothing clothing. Left there's nothing. Okay. There were not, they were not made, I didn't have any clothing. They were they were made of pure shadow that kind of like okay. looked like a robe and stuff like that. It was dense, you couldn't see through it, but they were pure shadow. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. It is not from this world. So you have a piece of this creature, but it's not from this world. That's the best you can you can discern at the moment. Do you want to hold on to it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, can everybody roll me a perception check? Oh shit. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Everyone. Anyone else? It was a net oh, one, okay. but it was five in total. Okay, okay. I got a 14, and I'll use my bardic inspiration. That's oh, me. fuck, yeah. Yeah, go use all the shit, man. Can I use bardic and guidance? Oh, Are we yeah, allowed go to for it. Let's can go. It, can I add the d6 to that? Then? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, all together, okay. 15. Okay, so you all pretty, you guys all see this. Okay. Total um, is 20. <laughs> Amidst the chaos right now, people are still running and screaming and you see Bysis like trying to like get, pick people up off the ground that are about to get trampled. Um, Y'all look up for a second and notice that Beloth's lights are still frozen. They're not moving. They're just frozen and stuck. Mm -hmm. This is not normal. And they've got a, in the middle of them is a very sickly green color. And it's all frozen. I hear you, Alec, and I'm sorry about your life. It's actually really good timing. <laughs> Let it roll. Right? <laughs> That's probably not a good sign, but seems a bit above my pay grade. I would ask if she's all right. Yeah, I'm going to run over to the, the pair, the elves. Uh, Lewin's gonna go over to them too. Are I was talking about you... the the lights. <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Make a make. Do you want to make a religion check? Do you want to do a little prayer? I, I was mainly doing that for Dan. It, he's the one that has the connection to her. You can definitely Fair. try. Um, I think Damascus is more concerned with the people here and now than with divine stuff at least at the moment he's definitely going to check out the elves first and make sure that they're not you know super injured and find out what the hell is going on why they're being attacked so he's going to run over to the girl and the, the two elves and just be like uh, are you two all right what in the world was that about she she looks around she's very you can tell she's like shivering like the, that the adrenaline from that is like taking over and she goes to like she opens her mouth to say something and you actually hear everyone stay in the campgrounds everyone get in your tents we are trying to figure this out you look over to like the side and you see like this little dwarf um <laughs> on uh on like a ladder with magically amplifi amplifying his voice, got a long white beard. He's just like, get in your tents now. And there are, there seems to ha have appeared a lot more of um, paladins that are helping to, you know, 
pick people up, get people situated in their tents. And like, they're like closing the freaking place down right now after what just happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you want to say something? No, I heard someone start. I'm sorry. I totally looked away. Speaking of that, uh, in the similar vein, I would look around for any druids or sorcerers that I could see and be like, salt, do you have salt? Give it to me. And I go around and try and find anybody here with salt. Faisa has some. Almost like embarrassingly, I like gather up all the salt I can find and I will cast long strider on myself, my last spell, and start circling the campground, pouring salt on the ground. Um, (laughs) Almost like embarrassingly, knowing that it's like this witchcraft bullshit, but like so worried that like now's the time to do it so I'm literally just like I have 40 feet now so within I don't know what it is five minutes I can probably circle the whole campground and I'm just like everybody I see salt give it to me you notice sorcerers you notice people just regular people start bringing up their rations right now and are giving it to you they know some they know something's up and they just watch all of you guys just defend them so they're trying to help um Alewin did you want to put up your tent do I have it again? I guess, I guess. Yeah, I do. I do now. Um, well, I yeah, actually, you got another one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually wanted to ask, um, I originally thought that purge, I could only cast mm-hmm. on myself, but I can cast it on anybody. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, a lay going to go over to Faza, um, and she's still a little rattled and she's, yeah, gonna she's go, shaking. Yeah. She's going to go. I have something that might help. May I? Cause she... she's never done this doesn't like she's she she looks terrified um quite good at magic i <laughs> let her try okay uh, so she's gonna uh flip through her spell book and you're gonna see um like this little key appear in her hand and when she goes to click it into the book it like slightly disappears and these little like cogs pop out and kind of in this like golden magical energy kind of float around her and like they rotate in the like an actual clockwise pattern as she casts purge on her all right so that basically that accelerates her Mm -hmm. her panic attack and her adrenaline rush here and you just see it like she gets really really tense and then just suddenly it's all gone and she's like oh my god Thank you. I'm really tired now. Like, you know, after you have like an adrenaline rush, you're like, oh, frig. <laughs> Done. Um, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for helping us. And, and uh, her brother's like, um, turns to where he notices like the group is talking from, kind of, and just, it's like off to the side just a little bit and is like, it was like, Thank you. We we wouldn't have made it out of there without you. Couldn't Can let you... you. Go ahead. Couldn't let you just die out there and do nothing. But do you have any idea what those things were? What what's going on? They both they both shake their head. Like we were out in the forest, and then this stuff started coming towards us. Or at least Did that's you, what she said. He points to Faisa. Did you also hear that that weird thunder, that booming? Um, everyone else had that, right? And they... Right? Yeah. I certainly heard it. He's like, I can... I know I'm blind, but like, I kind of can see ish where people are and he goes out and he puts your hand because you're within what 10 feet of him now he puts his hand on your shoulder and like just taps it and brings his hand back like i have a general sense of where things are around me but when that when that noise went off everything went actually dark for me i think that's why i ran into the tree and he's like rubbing his forehead. There's like a giant bruise. Um, he 
phase is looking around just like i don't we don't have a tent oh um you you can come with us um right i have to put that up now uh and she's gonna like you're to see her like in her own thoughts and she's gonna go um follow follow me when you when you are ready and um she's gonna take the new tent out and set it up uh do you guys okay so you guys are gonna go in the tent and just chill right like i don't think for less would i think they're gonna when they come back to be like i have uh, salted the um grounds i think this feels like something that is um i don't know what you believe well, i don't know what you believe uh, monsieur i'm so sorry uh, in your god in your sexy god good for you <laughs> but this is something else this is i've salted the ground and i think we wait I appreciate that you built this tent, but I think that some of us with magic um, should sit outside. Uh, maybe we take the watch. So you are actually going to get like, you're pretty much going to get told to go in the tent by the paladins going around, but you can see from inside the tent. Oh, so the okay. tent is no, like, you people can't see in it, but you guys can see out. And um, okay. no one will hear you while you talk at, for, in there. And when you go in, there's a whole bunch of like nice pillows and fluffy carpeting and like, excuse me, I totally had to. <laughs> it's magnificent yeah. mansion more or less, yeah? Yeah, kind of like that. Tiny, tiny, hut. tiny hut. Yeah, it's tiny hut. Okay. <laughs> One of tiny so hut. It's, a, it's six of us allowed in there, I think? Uh, I think there's okay. more. I think it's nine. I think it's nine. nine. Yeah, I think it's oh. nine. So like all of you, can go in there and be comfortable. There's enough pillows and blankets and like, it's just really, really pleasant. Comes with the hut. Um, uh, but, but, but you notice that like, it's warm in there too. You don't need too much extra stuff. Um, let's see here, what did I want to do? So you, Faza and um, Threven kind of just like back themselves against the tent and just sit down and like huddle together. They don't really know what's going on and all of that. Uh, but you hear him be like, go on. Go, come on. They saved their lives. Fine. I'm going to do it. Just okay. Like, he's, all right. And they're just, they're bickering with each other. And you see, see like, Faisal digging through her bag. And she's like, okay, fine. I said I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and she turns it's to you guys. Like, gets, gets like, embarrassed it goes turns us that we should give you stuff because you helped us and we we don't have money but we do have like little gifts if you'll take them i didn't do it for a reward but yes well she she looks at threven and just you hear a slap across his shoulder like she just hits him across the shoulder because it would really we would really appreciate it if you would take this gift from us, these gifts from us if it'll make you feel better, but you don't owe me anything. Uh, he he nods. Um, Faze is just like, like she hates just that whole interaction. She just not she's just uncomfortable. Um, but she brings out a pair of boots first from her bag, and she looks at all of you and she goes, and she hands them to Edgar. Edgar. You've just got the boots of gliding. These boots look like my mundane boots. However, the boots of gliding have been magically enhanced by the Fae. They create a small ice sheet under the wearer's foot, which increases their speed and making uh, and make it look as if the wearer is skating on land. While wearing these boots, your movement speed is increased by five per round, regardless of the surface that you are moving across. Let's go, Boitano. Let's go. <laughs> While wearing these boots, you may also add a plus one to dexterity saving throws. Um, and you also have advantage on stealth tech checks, which I believe just cancels out your, this you just have bad. regular stealth. <laughs> All right. Um, she's digging back through her bag again and pulls out like 
a silver ring. It kind of looks like it's got gears on it and then you can twist it. It's like a fidget spinner. Um, and she looks at Damascus and she goes, here. It, it holds it out for you. You take it from her and you've got a tuning ring. This magical fin fidget spinner is a tuning ring. It acts as an arcane focus for bars. Twists the gears to the left and you have a a set of thieves tools that appear. They cannot be broken and they give you proficiency while using them. Twist the gears to the right and the ring puts out a melody that you can control with maestro hand movements. The ring also gives you plus one to con saves. Well, now cool. that is cool. Let's slip it on my, what? I'm about to slip it on my finger and I'm just gonna be like, you're not a god, right? <laughs> what? A whole different story. Just check him. And then he puts it on his finger. And she's, she's just, like, I don't know where we are. Like, why am I here? And she reaches into the bag again and pulls out a, a bracelet. And she looks around the room and she goes, she hands it to a lay one. You have a bangle of protection. Once this bangle is donned, an invisible protective magical force surrounds the person wearing it until removed. The target's base AC becomes 13 plus its dexterity modifier as per the mage armor spell. So Alewen, mm -hmm. yeah, you now have mage armor that you're wearing all the time. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Um, let's do this. Next, she pulls out like, it's a little brooch and she, she it's in the shape of like a leaf and she hands it to uh, Phalus and she goes, this is for you. Um, it's a brooch of animated shield. So unlike regular shields, an animated shield hovers around you, providing a plus two AC while leaving both of your hands free. You can use a bonus action to activate your shield and it remains, ar it remains ar around you while in wild shape. So you still have a plus two bonus while in wild shape. You cannot use a physical shield while you use your animated shield at the same time but whatever. And you can dismiss it as a bonus action as well. I uh, do the like, I thank you, my friend, in the Druidic custom, we must say thank you with something. And I like take a piece of my hair and like cut it and like braid it into a piece of like a little piece of rope. And I tie it around the wrist and I say, I hope that you remember this as something we have exchanged. I appreciate your effort and I appreciate your gift. Um, she, she want to roll insight? Yeah, I do. Oh, it's really good. Uh, it's a 15 on the die plus three, 18. She looks like she's about to cry. She's never got, it looked... <laughs> It, it's the reaction of someone who just has never gotten a gift in their entire life. And, and she's just like, thank you so much. And she holds it to her chest. And I thank you. We are, yeah. now, we are now siblings in Druidic culture. I remember you. I remember you. And you hear, you hear her brother just go, you're gonna cry? Shut up, smack. <laughs> Right, <laughs> he's like, and at that moment, Talon flies into the the tent. He doesn't come in because he it's not open for him. He's just thunk, and you hear from it away when in your head you hear, "I know you're in there. Why would why would you abandon me?" Like, <laughs> oh, uh, she's gonna just like go and like fling open the. The, the the flaps of the tent and she's he gonna like drop to haughtily walks in looks at you <sighs> and then makes ah. his way over to Felix he's shaking his butt like you know like you know like dogs and cats when they're being pissy and just like shaking his butt crawls into Felix's hair makes a giant rat's nest for himself and then sits and just glares at you like he's just a little bit of flame comes out the top of his nose but you're all right. Of course, I'm all right. I can't believe you disappeared. 
Where were you? I didn't even see you. I'm sorry, Talon. You you look at Faza and she's like, that's a, that's a baby dragon. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, that, That's Talon. It's, it's speaking. Oh. Uh, yeah, because the rest of them can't hear Talon. They can't understand Talon. Depends oh. on if he goes in your head or not. Ah. Oh, you guys, you can understand him? Talon, 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 Talon. Uh, say something else. They, they, can, they can understand you. He looks at you and just... Ah, Talon. Don't you want to talk to somebody else who actually understands you? And he goes, he goes, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. He walks, he untangles himself from uh, Phelis's hair, walks up to um, uh, Faiza and goes, my name is Mortimer. I'm Faiza, it's nice to meet you. Threven. <laughs> And then he looks at you and goes, I thought, he goes, he looks at you like, you like, you know, like, you never asked. Oh, I suppose you're not wrong. I mean, honestly, though, I found you when I was like eight or nine and did not understand you at the time. But, and that's all like in a really like quick mumble. Oh. Do you not like that name? Wait. Uh, no, I quite like okay. that name. I'm just saying you could have asked. I can't believe I never thought of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to like, she's going to um, root around a little bit like in her hair to see if there's any like pieces, like full berries in her hair. <laughs> like in his nest. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, you find, you find like one or two. Okay. So she's going to pull them out without smushing them and she's going to go, I'm sorry, I, I never asked before. And she's going to, like, hand, hand him the berries. Everything is forgiven. He just okay. takes the berries and starts munching. Like, like yeah, this was the best idea. <laughs> like, tell him just fine. Um, mm-hmm. I- excuse me. Uh, every- everyone. Uh, is everyone all right? Does anyone need patching up uh, oh. through magical means or through uh, none? I'm a little, <clears throat> I'm a little banged up, but not nearly as bad as uh, Faiza or Faeless. Might want to take a look at them. About a half, but uh, I, I am, I am okay. It is. Uh, we will sleep here tonight. Don't worry about me. You can tell that they're like, I'm at half hit points. I look a little rough, but they're trying to be like, it is okay. Uh, we are okay. Everybody, let's lock down the area like they're trying to like be boss but they're like limping and like fuck <laughs> Faza kind of reaches out her hand and just like pulls you to like sit down just gives you a pat and is like it's okay I'm in so much pain too yeah. <laughs> and, and with that you guys are gonna settle in for the night okay okay we're gonna call <laughs> yeah. this we're gonna call this the end of the session. Yeah. I was gonna be like, oh wait, more battle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're done. We're done for the session. And I actually have little cards that I made of all your items, so I'll post those in chat for you. Perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. Um thanks for watching, guys. Uh yeah, I've been your DM. I see stars. Let's let my players say goodbye. Uh Edgar. Nick. Uh, Not Edgar. I'm going to call you Edgar now. Gee whiz. Uh, uh, Anyway, uh, I'm Nick. It was nice playing. Uh, It was really fun. Kind of got like goosebumps as you were describing the fog roll in and maskless or faceless things coming and killing us. Um, I can't wait to see how you use that disc. The disc? You have a a piece of... Like, uh, yeah, that yeah. mask, like something from another world. It's gotta be something. Uh, yeah. 
more more questions than answers uh, <laughs> this, this this time around. Uh, but other than that, uh, you can come and join us on our Discord, D in Denial. Uh, we have one shots every week and uh, other campaigns throughout the entire week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Fridays, and Sundays, uh, which are broadcasted on this channel. Like it's uh, the best type, man. Other than that, that's, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> it. Well, I don't um, have any other social media, so I might as well plug the D- Discord channel and the channel. I appreciate it because I forgot. I get so overwhelmed. Um, Daniele. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. Um, I've been Damascus Steel, the half elf bard warlock. Uh, you can find me on all of the social media places as the Speed of Candy. Also on the awesome, awesome Discord that Nick just mentioned, and I'm about to post a link to in chat. I had tons of fun. Stella? Hey, y'all. I'm Stella. You can find me everywhere on the internet as Saint Stella. I'm doing my last episode of this arc of Adventures in Asteria on Wednesday at 7 o'clock on Twitch. Backslash Saint Stella. Um... This has been super fun. Uh, I'm playing Phaelus Arbor, a punk rock, agender, druid tiefling um, who questions all y'all. Let's be honest. Uh, (laughs) This is awesome. Uh, Happy to be here. Can't wait for next week. And Pyrea. Hello, uh, I'm Pyrea. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok mainly. Uh, I was a Lewin Alanthris, um, a elf chronologist wizard. And yeah, you can also find me on Wednesdays on ADH Adventures, where I play a tiny bear ranger. We usually play at eight, eight. No, nine, eight, eight to nine Eastern Standard Time. But anyway, that's on Twitch. But yeah. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys had fun. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See you later.